Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yasmin and I am a full-time Poshmark seller and a stay-at-home mom. And when I say full-time Poshmark seller, I basically mean whenever my daughter's napping like she is right now, I work on Poshmark. Um, so we're going to go over the sales from February 2022. Um, this month was a little bit different for me because I did have to take a whole week off, but my sales were still pretty good. Um, before I show you guys my sales, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up um, and if you could subscribe. And also if you'd let me know how your guys' February was because of the algorithm Poshmark change, I know that messed up a ton of people. So let me know if it was better for you or if it was worse for you. Um, but if you could please subscribe, that would help me out a ton. All right, let's go so talk We're going to go over the sales from February of 2022. And I sold 84 things. And before Poshmark took their 20%, I had $2,587 in sales. And to put that in comparison, for January, which January, the beginning of the year, was super slow for me, like the first two weeks, but I made $2,955 in January. So you can see that there is quite a bit of a difference there. Um, but as far as Poshmark goes, you guys probably know Poshmark takes 20% of everything. So that was before. So the net that I made in February was $2,026.71. And so my ASP, which is average sale price, came out to around $30 after that. Because I did have a lot of high sales, then a lot of low sales. So that's just kind of the average of all of them. So let's go ahead and talk about those sales. So the first thing that I sold were these blue leather Sundance little flats. This was my first time ever coming across Sundance, and these came in my Joe Mara wholesale um, palette that I got. I got the half palette of shoes. So I have $2.50 into these, and they sold for $32 on offer. Um, the next sale is this Harley Davis black quarter zip, like little pullover. I thrifted this for $2. Harley Davis like used to do really well for me, but this one it sat for probably about a month and someone offered me $15. So I just went ahead and took it to just go ahead and get my money back. Um, the next one is these Enza Costa um, black drawstring cashmere sweatpants. And these were consignment clients. Um, so basically that just means that I have people who reach out to me um, that have things that they don't want to sell. And so we split the cost 50, we split the profit 50, 50. And so these sold for $24 on offer. And so I only get half of that. And the next, who oh, I should have never picked these up. I'm still trying to learn about Levi's. So these were the 7-Eleven skinny jeans in light blue. And I believe these did have a stain. Someone offered me $12 and I was just like, you know what? Just gonna take it. I want these out of my inventory. And I can say the next about the next couple sales actually. Because I I did send out some pretty good offers. I want to say I sent out offers like as low as 50% off with discounted shipping. So a lot of these next sales are from that because I had a little slow patch. Um, so I was just trying to move out as much as I could. So I sold this ASOS Petite Tool Skirt Lace Dress. This one was new with tags, it was a size zero. I got this at Plato's Closet during their five for 20 dress sale. And I got a couple other dresses that did do well, but this one just sat. Um, so I was excited to see that go. Um, then I had these cheese knives and these were consignment clients. They were new. Again, it was sold on offer. And then this Ferrer Bradley backpack, it sold on offer as well for $25. I picked that up at a Goodwill. So I did have like $6 into it. Um, but I'm glad it's gone. And I got a four star rating on that one because she said it wasn't as big as she thought it was going to be or something. But it wasn't anything on my part. So it kind of stinks when you get a lower offer for something like that. And then I got this. I honestly don't know how to say this brand. Kava? Kavu? <laughs> um, rope backpack. I know they used to be really popular. Uh, I got it for like $2 so I picked it up. Uh, it sold for $28 on offer. That one didn't take very long at all. And then next we have this Victoria's Secret Light Pink Lace Bralette. It sold for an offer of nine. I will pick up Victoria's Secret Bralettes. They sell fairly quickly. Usually I get more like the $16, $20 range. Uh, but this one, I just went ahead and took the offer to get rid of it. I'm sorry if that creaking is kind of annoying. This is a rocking chair. I may not need to film here again. Uh, sorry, guys. Okay. And then we have the Scrop Leah multicolor stripe ankle strap uh, wedges. And these sold on offer for $21. Um, and these, I believe I got these at a yard sale, so I didn't have very much into them at all. Okay, next we have this Nike hot pink tennis skirt. I picked this up back whenever the tennis skirts were like super popular on IG and everything. 
Um, this one sold on offer of 19. I didn't have very much into it, so I was just glad to get rid of it, which is kind of uh, the theme for all of those. But we're about to get into some better sales. So these Steve Madden Nyla Leather Mint Green Strappy Wedge Square Toe uh, Heels. These sold for $50. Now these, I believe, I spent $12 on them at Goodwill, and when I bought them, I didn't realize that they were $12, so I didn't pay attention, because usually they don't mark up Steve Madden's. And these particular ones I found in like the hard goods section, where I guess another reseller, are along with like, there were some fake thugs with it too. I guess that they had like found them, and then ran comps and didn't pick them up, but I'm glad I picked them up, because I mean, $50 for 12, it's not like the best return, but I'll take it. Okay. Then we have this Matilda Jane Good Heart Neighborly Stroll Blue Ombre Ruffle Cardigan. This one sold on offer of $26. Um, this one I had $2 into. Um, Matilda Jane I come across pretty often and I usually will pick it up if it's at a good price. This next one I actually wore um, for Christmas. I picked it up at Goodwill. I paid the regular Goodwill top price, uh, which at our Goodwill is closer to like 5 to $6 I want to say. Um, but it was cabby, it was a size small, it made for some really cute Christmas pictures, but then I was ready to just kind of move it out, and I'm glad that I was able to sell it around the Valentine's Day, um, and so I figured if it didn't sell then I was going to have to keep it all summer, but it did sell for $27. And then we have this Allude cashmere sweater with elbow pads, and it sold for $30. This one is one that I had from a consignment client and I've had it for over a year, so when someone sent me an offer, I was just like, yes, take it, goodbye. Okay, then we have these American Eagle curvy high-waisted black ripped skinny jean jeggings, and these sold on offer for 15 Again, just kind of glad that they're gone. I did have $2 into them. We have this new attacks Tommy Bahama royal blue underwire bikini top. This one I paid $4 for at Goodwill. Um, and it sold for $35. Um, so keep a lookout while you guys are sourcing for swimwear. Because this was just a top. And I mean, 35 bucks. That's a pretty good thing. And they sold. They, it sold really fast. Okay. This next sale actually surprised me a lot. So this cabby jacket. It was the uh, Lindo navy blue jacket. It was new with tags. It had like this weird red dot on the back. Um, I got it for $5, and it sold for $51. I mean, I don't have the best luck with Cabby, um, but for it to sell for $51, I was kind of shocked. So the next thing we have are these BCBG Generation black pillow slides, and the pillow slides are super popular. They Everybody had to have them, and they sold on offer for $19. These were from my Jomar box, so I had the $2.50 into them, so I was just glad to move more of those shoes out. Oh, okay, this one was cute. So this is a little baby Patagonia honey puff jacket, and it's the reversible one. This one sold for $38. Um, I bought it for $10 at a little consignment shop. I thought about my daughter wearing it, but she's blonde. It's a purple and blonde. I just don't know. I don't love the color combo. Um, so I just went ahead and sold it. Then we have these Zuda Z-Move crop skirted leggings, um, and these sold on offer for $20. I had $2 into them. Never seen Zuda before. I'm not really sure where it sold at. Um, it did sit for a little bit, so I don't know if I'd recommend that brand. So the next thing we have are these Sam Edelman black Trixie buckle sandals. And they have this cute little like gold heel on them. Uh, those sold for $22. They didn't take a super long time to sell. I do like selling Sam Edelman's. Certain styles do tend to move really well for me. Other ones I try to avoid, so always run comps on Sam. Okay, this next one was a bundle. And so this lady reached out to me and she was like, hey, I want to buy this t-shirt, but can I have discounted shipping? And so I told her that I would happily give her discounted shipping if she like got more than one item and we bundled them together. So she got this Patagonia t-shirt and then this cute little Eeyore new with tag Disney shirt. I think it may have been better if I would have just given her the shirt with discounted shipping to begin with because she ended up sending me a lower offer for both the shirts. So I really didn't end up making a ton of money off of the other shirt. It kind of broke even. Like not broke even as in I didn't make money, but it almost equaled the same price as if I would have just given her discount shipping on the one shirt. 
Um, I had $2 in each shirt, so I had $4 into it, and the bundle sold for $25 with discounted shipping of $5.99. Okay. Oh, Prada! I forgot that I sold these last month. Okay, so I sold these Prada black suede um, pointed toe kitten heel slip-ons. And these I found at Goodwill right next to my first ever pair of Rothy's. It was a Saturday morning. I went in. I was like, ugh, it's so packed in here, and I wasn't really seeing anything. I went straight to the shoes, and there was just so many people, and I looked down, and I saw something, like, blue, and it kind of caught my attention. I've never seen Rothy's before in person, and I saw the thing that said Rothy's, and I was like, these are Rothy's? And so I put them in my cart, and then I looked down, and I saw the word Prada, and I picked those up, and they were in perfect condition and I got them authenticated and they were real so I was able to sell them and they sold for $135 and I had oh goodness I don't remember the cost of goods on these I want to say it was under $5 though they had a marked super cheap same for the Rothy's the Rothy's sold the same month I listed them for around 115 okay so next we have these Vans silver glitter unicorn high top sneakers Super cute. I was tempted to like hold on to them for a while for my daughter, but I was like, you know what? Probably shouldn't save them that long. So I went ahead and sold them and they sold for $25. We have the next one is a new attacks Matilda Jane Royal Blue Ruffle Pants. These were size extra small and they sold for $25. These sold pretty quickly. Oh, so this next sale is really fun. So these are All Saints gray suede um, spiked leather combat boots. These sold for $120. I have $4 into them. This was my first time ever finding All Saints. Um, it was just a really exciting and fun thing to find. Especially because I've been watching a lot of like Lindsay Nicole and she talks a lot about the All Saints jackets and so I already kind of had it on my radar. Uh, but these shoes, the way they were like on the rack, they were on the very bottom and they were kind of like bunched together. So I was like, what are these? And I picked them up and then I saw on the bottom it was nailed onto the sole. And I'd never seen that before, so I kind of automatically assumed that these are more high-end. And then I saw All Saints and was like, yes, perfect. Okay, so our next sale is a Lululemon All Town blue button-down collar shirt. Um, this one I found at Goodwill. I found it close to like where people put the clothes back after they've tried them on. I will usually hang out in that section. I'll look at the shoes and I'll go straight there because I find that a lot of people will put good stuff back. Uh, it sold for $30. Okay, so this next sale. So this is a Knitworks white and black floral dress. I believe this is a JCPenney brand. I did not purchase this. My mom gave it to me because she bought it for my sister and she never wore it. It sold for $11. Oh, but the cost of goods was zero. So I did make some money off of it. I don't know if it was really worth the time photographing it and shipping it, but I did it. Okay, our next one are these Kate Spade um, lacy black slippers. And these sold for $50. These came in my Jomar half pallet shoe box. And so I got uh, $2.50 into them. And for them to sell for $50 in like a week, I was super excited with that. And those were in like basically new condition. I love selling Kate Spade, especially the shoes. Okay, so now we have the Gianna Benai brown leather wedges. These came from a Goodwill. I have $5.99 into them and they sold for $40. I used to pass on this brand all the time, but I came in contact with like four different pairs from a consignment deal that I did. So I kind of like had to sell them. And I realized whenever they sold so quick at a good price, I was like, oh, maybe I should actually like look into these. So I've been doing good with that brand. Okay, so our next one is Misguided. It's a Dobby Black Milkmaid long sleeve um, skater dress. It sold for $32. I had $5 into it because it was new with tags. Um, so five into 32. It's pretty good. Misguided is like one of those Sheen and what's the other one? Fashion Nova. It's just like fast fashion. So typically I would not pay up for it at all, but for that price I took it. Okay, so now we have this cute little J brand gray wool sweater vest. I just picked it up because sweater vests are super trendy right now. Everybody's wearing them. Uh, it sold very quickly and it sold for $18 and I had $2 into it. Oh, so this next one was really fun. So this is a bundle and I was actually at Goodwill whenever I got this offer and I was super excited. And I think modeling this particular one really helped it sell. So it was this um, Lauren, Ralph Lauren 
wool plaid blazer and then this Lauren Ralph Lauren wool plaid vest and I listed them separately. Um, I did buy them together but I noticed the sizes were different and so I listed them separately and then noted that in my description. And I was like hey if you do like this like sweater um, sweater vest there's a like matching blazer and so she saw it and she bundled them together and she offered me a hundred dollars. I had two dollars into them like all together because it came as a set. So I was like beyond excited to take that. Okay, <laughs> it's funny that I have a hundred dollar one and now I'm about to talk about a $10 sale. So this wet cat seafoam green striped scarf sold for $10. This was a consignment thing. So we both probably made like $2 when it was all said and done, but it's okay. Just learn from your mistakes. I'm getting better at being like, okay, sorry, I can't list this. Cause I used to just take everything, but now I have to be a little bit more picky. Um, so our next sale, this is also a consignment thing. It's a Wrangler retro, um, like just basic blue snap button shirt. It sold for $18 and this one was new without tags. Um, this one is another consignment thing. It's a Callaway Op Dry black shirt. I believe Callaway is like a golfer type brand. This one was new with tags and it sold fairly quickly on offer for $28. Uh, next we have Cole Haan and these are some black leather loafers. These came in my Jomar box. Um, these sold fairly quickly for $20. Uh, Cole Haan is one of those brands where I would just check comps. Um, a lot of times you can get it cheap enough. Um, I mean, it's worth listing. Okay, so now we have these American Eagle curvy high-waisted shorty dark wash denim shorts. And these sold for $19 on offer. Um, I believe I found these at a yard sale, so I probably have like around $2 into them. Okay, so now we have this new with tags Express Blue Paper Bag Waist V-neck Jumpsuit. This one was one that I got from a consignment deal. This was one I probably should have never listed, but I did. I do not have luck with Express. I've come across it many times with consignment, and every time it sits forever and it doesn't sell for very much. This was new. It was a cute style. It was, it was a size zero, so I can see how that probably helped did not sell well because the smaller sizes just do, don't do great. Uh, it sold for $12 and it sat for over a year. So I learned my lesson. And it's funny that that one sat for over a year because this next sale sold within an hour of being listed. So these all top converse purple tie, purple tie dye high tops sold for $32 and they sold pretty much the same. They sold within like 20 minutes of being listed. I listed them at uh, 38 and someone offered me 32 so I just went ahead and took it and I let these shoes sit in a corner for about two months before I actually listed them because I just didn't feel like cleaning them I don't know how you guys are I hate cleaning shoes I hate cleaning like Vans and Converse because I use the magic erasers and they always break them and I mean it's like a dollar for a magic eraser but I still just I do it down I just don't like having to do it but it makes them look so much better okay Next we have these Mark Fisher Zella um, hot pink leather suede block heels. These were from my Joe Mar box, so I have $2.50 into them and they sold for $33, basically same week that they were listed. So those were super fast. Mark Fisher is one of those brands where sometimes it sells really quickly and other times it sits for me. So I think it's very just dependent on how the style is. Okay, the next one is this Ann Taylor tan and blue striped wool short sleeve sweater. This one was like ombre, it was super cute. It was new with tags. I had, I want to say $2 into it, um, accepted an offer of 15, just glad that it was kind of, just let it go. And Taylor's another one of those brands that if the style's right and the price, pick it up, but just be careful because it's probably going to sit forever. So next we have these Cole Haan Nude Grande Bow Closed Toe Wedges. Um, these ones came in my, I think these came in my Fred Up Mystery Box actually. Um, so I think I had more like $4 or $5 into them and they sold for 30. So super excited to have those go. These next ones are these Chaco Juniper black strappy sandals. They sold for $50. I had $4 into them. Um, this is kind of, we'll see and pick up here in a second of sandals. I just started selling tons of sandals. Um, the next one is these Goodwin Weavers reversible Navajo woven Aztec fringe throw blanket. This is one I picked up at a yard sale. 
I was trying to like branch out and do other things than clothes, which never works out for me, so I just need to stick to what I'm good at. Um, but this blanket sold for $25, uh, but it was kind of a hassle to have to wash it and store it and ship it, so I don't think it was worth it. Uh, now we have another sandal pair. These are Chacos, and they were green. They were a little bit dirty, so I didn't accept. I did accept an offer of twenty five of twenty eight. Um, I bought these for four dollars, so just kind of glad to move them along. Um, we have another Sam Edelman. These are the Snow White leather Andrea um, flats, and they were kind of woven. These sold for twenty dollars. They came in my Jomar, and so I had two dollars and fifty cents into them. The next one are these Clark black leather slip-on sandals. These Clark surprised me. These sold for $27, which was my full asking price. Because I kind of was like, oh, I don't need to pick up Clarks anymore. They never sell. But these sold. And they were just a basic comfort slip-on shoe. So if you guys have any sandals sitting around right now, you want to go ahead and list them. Your sandals and your swimsuits and your shorts. That's what's flying off. Okay. So now we have this Disney Park Lungfly Mickey Mouse Club red and black backpack. I bought this one for $30 off Macari because I did go to Disney and so I bought like three different cute little Lungfly backpacks. Um, so I made my money back. I didn't make like a ton of money, but like 30 into 50, so I'll take it. I gotta wear it at the park, it was fun. This next one was another consignment. This was the Newport Authority black zip up vest. It sold for $22. Uh, I hate selling Port Authority. <laughs> I have so many of them from this one client, and I'm just, they're not fun to list. They're just not like a fun piece. It's just very basic and boring, but they do sell. We have another Sam Edelman, and this one is the Black Leather Lorraine Loafers. These had a lot of attention, and I have them in maroon as well in my closet. These sold for $35. They sold pretty quickly. I did have them listed at 60 but I was just ready to accept anything at this point. This was right when I got back from my trip. And we had the Poshmark algorithm change that happened while I was gone. So I was just trying to like get as many sales as I could and just like move out stuff. Oh, this next one was fun. So this is a Lily Pulitzer Cabo blue and gold striped sweater. This one sold for $34, which was my full asking price. Um, this one I picked up at Goodwill and I found it in the place where people put their clothes back after they're done trying things on. Uh, it was a size large. And I got it for like $5.99, so $6 at a Goodwill. This next one was a consignment. This is Travis Matthews, which I saw a lot of Travis Matthews. It's a great brand if you find it, like the men's stuff. Which Travis Matthew might actually only sell men's stuff because I've never seen any women's. But it sold for $42. It was a shacket button-down shirt. And I had a zero cost to goods because it was a consignment. This next one is an Adidas gray Comfort Cloud sneaker and it sold for $23. I had $4 into it. They were in good condition. Just kind of wanted to let them go. We just have a few cells left to talk about. So these are black old school vans and they sold for $18. I had these forever. They were a kid size four. Be very wary of picking up children's vans to sell on Poshmark. I think Ginger Marvin and them do very well on eBay which I am going to start cross-listing soon, and I'm going to talk about that in a video I have coming up soon because I'm going to start trying out the new free cross-listing service by Flip. So I'm going to let you guys know how all that goes. But yeah, they sat forever, and they finally sold for $18, so I'm just glad they've gone. This next one is the American Eagle Favorite Boyfriend Low-Rise Jeans, and these sold for $23. Um, I usually price these around like the $28, so I did accept an offer. Um, sorry about the text. <laughs> Um, so I did accept an offer on these. Uh, I think I had $2 into them. So next we have these Calvin Klein Patsy Nude Slingback Heels. These sold for $20. These came in my Jomar box, so I had $2.50 into them. Uh, they were super cute, and these actually sold the same day that I listed them, which when I was listing them, I was like, oh, it's Calvin Klein. It's never going to sell, and it sold within a few seconds, so I don't know. Sometimes I just doing this for so long and they still get surprised. Um, so next we have these Anthropology Moth Green Embroidered Floral Shirt. This one was one of my first like Anthropology Moth finds ever before I knew that not everything Anthropology is amazing even though the store is super fun to go to. This sold after a year of being listed for $18. 
I mean, it was a really cute sweater, but it just took so long to sell. So be very careful with making a moth. I did have like $5 into it, so I didn't make very much for holding on to it for a year. Uh, the next one, which is actually our second to last sale, are these Crocs black and white Leah wedges. So this is my second pair of Leah wedges I sold in that month. And these sold for $15. I had $4 into them and I found them at a Goodwill. And our last sale we're gonna talk about are these Echo um, sandals. This is my second time like selling this pair not this particular pair, but this style. Uh, each time it sold for 40 and over. The other one sold for a little bit higher than 42. Uh, but yeah, the Echo like Velcro strap sandals, they do really well. So if you see them, pick them up. Hello, editing Yazzie here and Lily. So whenever I was looking back at the pictures, I noticed that I actually skipped 20 sales. Um, it was like 20 and 19. accident. Um, I was looking at the order completion date instead of the actual like, sales date so I had a lot in February that were skipped. Luckily I did film a ship with me video for that time period. I only have two ship with me's out so it's the first one not the second one. So if you were curious to see those sales because I know there was like some Rothy's and dance goes and stuff like that in there um, and a couple other sales over a hundred. So if you were really curious about those I would suggest going and watching that. Um, but yeah, just uh, wanted to let you know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you could please subscribe, that would help me out a ton. And if you haven't already, if you could give this video a thumbs up. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.